Hello and welcome back to my tarot corner and this is the zodiac spread for the heart pulls. So this, as I did for the Cambridges, I'm going to do it for the heart pulls. I'm going to take one card for each month of the year and see uh, the connection between them and uh, to see what is the theme for each month of the year for the heart calls and see what can we see around their year so first i'm going to clear the cards and year ahead for the heart calls 2020 2022 for the Harkles, 2022 for Harry and Meghan, year ahead for Harry and Meghan. And let's see what we get. So for the card of January, we get the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of family. This is a card of building their own, uh, um, building their own uh, house, their own family. This is a card. Uh, this is a, actually a very good card. So January is going to be a good month for them because uh, this card speaks about going out on a, a victory quest without uh, paying attention to the results though so it speaks about being able to enjoy the road and not think about the results uh, so this is a card of uh, family marriage engagements a uh, uh, going out on adventures uh, and uh, so this is a good card so so month of january is going to be a very good month for them as it looks next card is the february card and we get the queen of swords so it looks like that in february uh, they are going to keep on talking about uh, the environment and how uh, the world is uh, needs uh, needs uh, protection and they are going to deal with things concerning uh, the uh, good of uh, everyone else uh, but this card also uh, is a card that hides behind him the queen of uh, of wands so the queen of swords is like the idealistic one so it looks like they but that they are going to uh, appear idealistic they are going to talk about social responsibility uh, about how sacrifice how you need to sacrifice your own good for the good of everyone else but because this card hides behind him the queen of wands uh, it does uh, uh, suggest that it's all coming out of ego and their own ego and their own wish to look as if they are the idealistic couple. But this is what they are going to deal with in the month of February, at least according to this spread. Okay, uh, let's see what the month of March has in store and we get the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands is a card that is uh, calling them to uh, deal with the most imp with the important thing and leave aside all of the trivial things. And usually when this card appears it shows that uh, the quarant or whoever uh, we do the uh, reading about has a problem in focusing on the most important things usually because they have some kind of a ADHD or a, a other reasons that just stray them uh, from the most important things 
But this card calls them to focus, focus on the most important things and leave the trivial things aside. And this is what uh, they will have to deal with in the uh, uh, mon month of March uh, to try and to focus on the important things and just leave the trivial things aside. So this is March. Card, the card for April is the Eight of Swords. So in the month of April, it does look like they are going to feel um, uh, restricted. They are going to feel uh, bonded. This is a card of blockages and bondages, uh, usually because of uh, emotional uh, this is emotional blockages usually and in the month of April we're getting used uh, very close to the platinum jubilee uh, also Harry's book is supposed to come out so uh, but they will not feel uh, victorious they will be in this um, energy of being blocked and being unable to uh, go forward and I have to remind you that the next card after the eight of swords is the nine of swords which is a card of justified worry this person the person in this card is a person that doesn't want to look a uh, reality to, to see reality because uh, her eyes are masked here and in order to see reality, she has to take off this uh, mask from her face and to take to see reality as it is. But because she is uh, blocked and because her she uh, doesn't see reality as it is, uh, uh, altogether they are in this uh, energy of feeling blocked and unable to go forward. This could be because they won't be uh, really invited to the Jubilee in, uh, after all. This could be because uh, Harry's book won't be uh, a success as they, um, as they uh, anticipate. A lot of things can ha go wrong here, but in the March, in, this, in the, in, in Mar in, in the uh, month of April, they will not feel so uh, good. They will feel blocked they will feel a uh, bondage shackled and uh, this will be especially emotionally uh, blocked so this is april in the month of may we see once again the card of four of cups now this is interesting because i think that also for the cambridges i got uh, the four of cups in the month of may and this is a card of doubts this is a card so uh, in the month of may they will be full of doubts now this could be either they they are doubting their themselves this could be that see, people doubt them uh, this could be uh, because of false rumors this could be because uh, uh, because of loss of faith uh, either they lose faith in one another or they lose faith in the people that work for them or people lose faith in them but altogether this will be the energy that is surrounding them in the month of May so let's see what's going on in the month of July June sorry June so in the month of June, we get the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a card that speaks about uh, doing the right thing. Uh, but it also has a very high uh, affinity to uh, religious institutions and everything concerning religious ceremonies. So this could be either marriage or divorce. Uh, this could be either going back to religion, uh, but uh, in, all in all, this card speaks about doing the right thing. So uh, it looks like in June, uh, 
uh, either both of them or uh, just one of them will be faced with this dilemma of needing to do what is right and they will have to uh, make this decision and uh, the Hierophant calls them to do what is right and uh, because it is linked to religious uh, institutions we might see some kind of uh, some kind of a religious ceremony con re uh, uh, concerning with them I don't want to be bold and say that we will see them uh, for uh, uh, getting a divorce now uh, uh, in June but uh, this is something that uh, is possible uh, because of the this card so this is june now in july we get the three of pentacles now the three of pentacles is a card that is speaking with the four of wands and this is three and four which is a uh, interesting. The Three of Pentacles speaks about uh, getting the recognition, getting the reward that they want uh, after doing uh, after doing whatever they did in the energy of the two. Uh, and then we get to the Four of Wands, which is the card of uh, getting the family and uh, everything that it, but they are uh, reciprocating these two cards are reciprocating one another uh, so these could be connected so uh, the, the fact that uh, in the man month of January they will get this uh, going out on this victory quest uh, could be reciprocated to the fact that in the month of July they will get this uh, recognition and reward that they are looking for and uh, this is the month of July now in the month of August we see the ace of cups now the ace of cups is a card that speaks about flow and, re and renewal it speaks about being able to uh, realize your emotions in the material world so uh, it looks like in that the month of august will be a very emotional card for them uh, it does look uh, speak about faith and belief and uh, this is another card that speaks about going back to religion uh, this is the energy of freedom so in uh, either one of them or both of them will be uh, feeling free uh, freer than he was before uh, this uh, field uh, this kind of uh, belief in himself uh, or both of them will believe in themselves uh, and this is a card of being able to fulfill your emotions in the material world to be able to uh, to uh, manifest your emotions and what you feel so this is the card for uh, August now let's see what we get for September and for September we get the star now the star is a card that speaks about uh, two things it can either speak about this en energy of love and harmony and being able to uh, uh, to uh, get this uh, to get this uh, energy but uh, in order to get that energy the star speaks about opening a Pandora box uh, so it looks like in September things will start coming out uh, secrets all, all the things that all, all things that they are trying to hide will start coming out because Pandora box will open uh, in the month of September at least according to this spread so uh, 
it does look like in September uh, things uh, will start coming out, the truth will start coming out, and uh, um, and this card also speaks about mental health and the need for a, a mental health therapy. So it might also be that they will realize that they need this kind of therapy, either couples therapy or a, one, one, one of them will need therapy. Anyway, this card does speak about this main uh, theme of the card is opening the Pandora box. So it looks to me that a Pandora box will be open in the month of September. Now, in the month of October, in the month of October, we get the Nine of a uh, Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is a card of worry and a justified worry. And if you remember, and this is really very interesting because uh, if you look at the spread. This card is reciprocated with the card of Eight of Swords. If you remember, when I spoke about the Eight of Swords, I said that the cards right after that is the Nine of Swords. And exactly, it is reciprocated in this spread. And um, so, uh, every card here is reciprocated with the card that is just, just uh, uh, in the other place. For example, as I said, the four of wands is reciprocated with the three of uh, with three of uh, uh, pentacles. Uh, the ace of uh, cups is reciprocated with the uh, queen of swords. And as I said, the queen of swords is the egotistical queen. But then we see, not the, no, I'm sorry, the idealistic queen, the one who wants to speak about, uh, the, 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 about uh, fixing everything in the world. But then we get in this reciprocated card, uh, a lot of feeling, which is exactly the opposite of a, a feel, the, these uh, idealistic uh, a queen which is not exactly a feeling one so uh, this is one reciprocation and then we get the uh, star which is reciprocated with the uh, a card of seven of wands and the star speaks about the Pandora box and everything that comes out. And in the seven of wands, we're talking about focusing on what is more important and taking out all of the trivial things. So uh, it looks like those both things are talking to one another. They will have to start fighting all of those uh, things that will come out uh, when the Pandora box will will uh, be opened, and they will have to start, you know, trying to focus on what is more important and uh, try to uh, fight down all of the uh, all of those ones that are coming up, all of uh, that are the trivial ones. And then, I mean, I couldn't have made that up. Uh, we get the uh, nine of swords which is worry that come that is reciprocated with the eight of swords which is the blockages and the shackles so uh, in the month of october and this comes right after the pandora box is opening we see worry and justified worry this is real worry. This is not something that uh, is a uh, uh, made-believe. This is worry that is justified. They w this will keep them way awake at night. So this is the month of October. And in the month of November, we get the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is, as always, Megan. Uh, she is the Leo. She is the Queen of Wands. She's the egotistical queen, the one who uh, cares mostly about herself. 
she wants to be seen as the leader, but she's also the one who uh, uh, like, likes performing in front of an audience. She wants to be seen as someone who cares about her family and her children, but she is mostly motivated by ego. So this is what we will see in the month of November. We will see uh, mostly Megan, and Megan will be the one that will be more uh, mostly uh, uh, let's say uh, visible. Okay, and then in December we see the page of the page of cups and the page of cups is the artist he is a uh, one with uh, a lot of uh, emotions uh, uh, is the one who is uh, uh, very much into arts into uh, um, uh, very emotional and also a, a card of someone who needs a therapy, who needs psychological treatment. And this is the ending of this uh, spread. So it does look like we have a few cards here in this spread that are talking about a, a mental health treatment. And this card is reciprocated with the Hierophant. So it does look like uh, whatever the Hierophant brings, it will be very emotional and, very, and will uh, be uh, some kind of a reason for the need of therapy. This could also mean couples therapy. Doesn't all have to be. Uh, doesn't have to be uh, um, um, one uh, one by one. This can, can also mean couples therapy. So this is the uh, zodiac spread and the significator card which is, speaks about the whole year is the two of cups. And the two of cups is a card that speaks about being active. This is a card that tells them that they need to be active. They don't need to try to wait and uh, be the suitor, uh, be the courters, courted by, but uh, be the suitors. So this is a, a card that speaks about the need to become active. So the in, the the theme of this year is that the Harry and Meghan will have to be more active this year. They will have a lot of uh, things to fight, uh, to fight at. They will feel very uh, blocked emotionally. They will have uh, many reasons to be uh, uh, worried. It looks like they're... Uh, uh, secrets or some of their secrets will come out. Emotions are uh, controlling this, especially the f second half of the year. Uh, and uh, we, all in all, in all of this year, we see two good cards. One of them is the Four of Wands, which is for January. And then the one who reciprocates it, it the Three of Pentacles, uh, in the second, in the, uh, in July. So uh, all of the other cards are not that they're bad, but they do signify that they are going through uh, some kind of a, a, a very hard, uh, and not very easy uh, uh, process uh, and it does look like uh, the theme of the year tells them to be more active, to start doing things more actively and uh, to stop thinking that things will happen by themselves because they won't. Uh, so this is the reading for the heart calls and I hope you liked it and if you did please like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, always write me an email or a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.